This is the last part of our lesson on graphing lines. So our final question says, determine the equation of the following graph in the form y equals mx plus b. So we've just done a bunch of examples where we graphed when we were given the equation. So the question is, using our knowledge of how we would make a graph, can I work backwards to figure out what this graph is? So in order to graph a line, I need to know the slope and the y-intercept. So to find the equation of a line, I'm going to need the slope and the y-intercept. I find the y-intercept the easiest place to start, and then we'll have to try to puzzle out what we think the slope is. So for the y-intercept, I'm going to look at the y-axis, and I notice it crosses the y-axis at negative 2. So my y-intercept is negative 2. Um, to figure out the slope, the slope is the roadmap of how I get from one point to the next. So what I'm going to do is see if I can find the next point on the line where it actually crosses the corner of some grid lines, right? So if I follow my line, I don't like this point because it's kind of in the middle of the square. This one is also in the middle of the square. This one is close, but it's not there yet. I think the next point would be right here. And then I'm going to try and see if I can follow it to another point. I think there's one there. So we're looking for where it's at the corner of two grid lines. So I notice to get from this point to this point, I went up one and one, two, three, four squares over. So I went over four. And then I am going to check to make sure it's the same for the next one. We went up one and over four. So we always do the up and down part first and then the side to side part second, right? We do delta y over delta x. So I think the slope of this line is one over four. Now once you've figured out like one point, it is a really good idea to just check and make sure that the next one follows the same pattern because sometimes it's hard to tell if it's right at the corner of a grid line or not. Um, so it's good to make sure that it's following the same pattern for all of the points. So that means my equation of my line is going to be y equals m, so 1 quarter x, and then plus b. Now I'm not going to write plus negative 2. Instead, I'm just going to write minus 2. And there is my equation of my line. And that's all you need to know for today about graphing lines.